so believe it or not, Stellar is actually something that I, I've been constructive on for our premium customer base. Mm -hmm. um, so when I look at this chart, right, this looks like DeFi before DeFi moved, right? It was this idea of a head and shoulders bottom, okay, which basically means three attempts by bears to push it down. Okay. And then they weren't successful and Stellar took off. Okay. Right here. All right. Now, one of the things I'm trying to tell people is, is if you're going to have an alt season that keeps on giving, okay, then it's going to be the Stellars and the Cardanos that have to leave. Now, based on this chart, okay, Stellar can go up a lot. I don't know if that makes any fundamental sense, but you know, mm -hmm. Stellar can go all the way up to 15 cents based on the charts, right? Currently it's trading around 10. So it's got big upside potential, okay? Like Cardano and others, but it just needs to get going. So the, the reader or, or the listener or viewer is right. There is, there is a better chart out there than Ripple for sure. And Stellar is one of them. All right. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think if, any, if anybody out there is an XRP, maybe look at Stellar, XLM. Because, I mean, it's basically a fork of Ripple. And if, if, if you're just trading it, I mean, you obviously, obviously don't really care too much about the fundamentals, right? If you're just looking to make to make money, then maybe it's a better trade. All right. Uh, then somebody's saying, Scott says, XLM is IBM's baby. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Uh, tell us what you think down in the comments below.